All of our focus is going to be on hiding that belly. Keep watching because I'm going to share with you all the tips, all the tricks so that you can look 15 pounds lighter. I'm Andres Perez and this is Be A Man TV. I'm going to start this off by giving you a bonus tip. Now this tip actually has nothing to do with your clothing but rather how you carry yourself. I'm talking about your posture. Now check this out, I'm slouched over slightly, I'm nothing exaggerated, I'm not trying to drag my knuckles like this, you know, just slightly. Compare it to when you stand up straight, don't exaggerate like I'm doing right now, just normal, compared to slouch. It does make a difference. Standing up straight is not going to be the end all be all, but when you implement it along with all the other tips I'm going to share with you, you're going to look your best. For the first tip, this is actually something that I've chosen not to implement myself. However, it certainly is an option and there are a lot of great benefits so I want to make sure I share this with you. What I'm talking about is men's shapewear. If you don't know what that is, basically it's something that you wear underneath your shirt that helps you look slimmer. One of the added benefits is that it'll actually help you stand up straight. But really what it's designed to do is just to hold everything tight, make everything firm you know, suck in your stomach a bit. Now for men's shapewear, there's actually a lot of options to choose from. There's some that look like tank tops, there's some that look like undershirts, uh, different colors for sure. I recommend getting a nude color, or if you have darker skin, you could even get away with a black color. The great thing about men's shapewear is that it doesn't a pinch. You know, if you have an important event coming up where you have to wear a suit, for example, you obviously don't have time to lose the weight. And, you may not want to spend the money to get a whole new suit or to get it retailed. Instead, just purchase one of these men's shaper, put it underneath your shirt. As long as you didn't gain too much weight, you should be able to fit into everything. One of the drawbacks is that because it's, it's basically sucking, holding in your stomach, right? Um, it may feel a bit uncomfortable. Now for something like this, what you're looking at for price, it typically ranges anywhere between 10 to about $50. For these next few tips, I'm going to concentrate on how to choose your clothes. You know, whether this is something you're picking out for your closet or if you're going completely to buy new outfits. These next three tips are going to help you to do just that. For the second tip, you have to choose a shirt that fits you correctly. And this is something that I cannot stress enough because if you don't, it's going to be that much more difficult for you to look slimmer. When you have a bigger belly, if you don't choose a shirt that fits you correctly, it's going to be an uphill battle, even with the rest of the tips. The first thing that you do not want to do is buy a shirt that's too tight on you. You know, this is just going to show the shape of your body, basically. You know, you might as well be naked at that point. There's nothing that you can hide. It's, if it's skin tight like that, you're done. That's it. There's not really any other tricks that you can do to hide it other than maybe put on something on top of it. Now, the second thing you don't want to do is buy a shirt that's too big. So as you can see from this picture, it looks terrible, right? You know, it just accentuates everything that, that's wrong already, uh, especially with, with muffin tops. You know, those are just gonna make you look so much worse. You know, even if you're wearing shapewear underneath all this, you're gonna look bad. You know, it doesn't matter if you, you stand up straight or, or what. This is something that you certainly do not wanna do. Instead, what you wanna do is, like I said, buy a shirt that fits you correctly. Something like this. Something that's loose in the midsection, but it can be snug up in the chest. It's fine if it's, if it's snug around the arm sleeves, but you don't want it to be tight around the midsection. You want it to have a little bit of room, a little bit of give. Um, one thing that you can do is when you buy a shirt, if it fits fairly well, um, you can also stretch out the sides and that'll help with the fitting. Everyone's heard that black is slimming. Guess what? It's true. So my third tip for you is to wear dark clothing. Here's the reason why. Dark colors, especially black, absorb light rather than reflect it. This is science. So if there's less light reflecting off of you onto the eyes of the beholder, there's less information coming in. 
also what that does is that creates less shadow. And less shadow means less definition. For example, when you're drawing, you draw a circle, it's flat. But if you shade it in, that's how you get the 3D effect of a sphere. So basically what you're doing is you're just doing a little psychological trick with science. By using dark clothing, you're creating an illusion that things are flatter than what they actually are. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you can only use black. Any dark color will do. You can do a dark blue, you can do a dark green, a dark brown, dark gray. You get the point, as long as it's dark. Now, I understand you, you may not want to be limited to only wearing dark clothing. For my fourth tip, I'm gonna show you how you can get around that, but real quick. If you stuck with me so far and you like the tips I've been giving you, make sure to give this video a like. So what you want to do when you're putting an outfit together is you want to create a low contrast. And what I mean is this. Colors come in three different shades basically. Light, medium, dark. What I mean by doing low contrast is keep it together. If you're going to wear blue jeans, wear a shirt that's a very similar blue to those jeans. There's no contrast, see? Check this outfit, for example. I'm wearing light gray with light gray. There's very little contrast. So what that does is that makes the eye go up and down, makes you look slimmer. If you have a high contrast outfit, it's gonna create a hard line. It's gonna cut your body in half. So what's gonna happen, when someone's looking at you, they're gonna see your shirt and your pants. And there's gonna be that line Instead of their eye traveling up and down, it's gonna stop. Because it's, it sees there's a difference. There's information that needs to be processed. And they're gonna process it and they're gonna notice. The other thing to keep in mind is, I'm not saying you have to use monochromatic outfits all the time. In other words, you can use light blue jeans with a light gray shirt. They don't have to be the exact same color, but you do want them to be the same shade light with light medium with medium dark with dark you do this and it's just gonna make a big difference all right now so i have shared with you how to choose your clothes these next two tips are gonna deal with how to wear your clothes the fifth tip it's so easy to do but it makes a really big difference simply untuck your shirt that's it let's go back to the picture i showed you earlier all right, now first of all, this shirt does not fit correctly, right? But because it's tucked in, it shows where your stomach hangs. You don't want to do that because that brings more attention to it. Instead, untuck your shirt. If it fits correctly, it's going to be under your belt line, about mid crotch level. And the reason I say this is, is simply because it's just going to create that line. It's going to create less definition. It's just gonna have a nice smooth taper, right? From your stomach down to your shorts or pants. Now, of course, there's gonna be times when you have to tuck in your shirt. You know, if you're wearing a dress shirt, for example, it's meant to be tucked in. It's too long not to. People are gonna notice, right? It looks bad. Wear a suit jacket or blazer, something on top of it. And wear it the way it was meant to. If it has three buttons, always have this middle one closed and the top one's optional bottom one's open because what's that going to do it's going to it's going to create that v-shape it's going to bring attention up here you know to your chest and your face compared to that if you use all the tips that i just shared with you you're not just going to look good you're going to look amazing and what i want you to do is i want you to implement this if you find that you get compliments come back and put it in the comments below because i want to know also, make sure that you share this video out. If you thought it was good information, then you probably know somebody who can also benefit from this. If your goal is to not just look good, but captivating, then after you subscribe, make sure to ring the bell so you can be alerted when I have new ideas to share with you. And as for what you should watch next, check out the video below. It's my personal recommendation.